And that was 24 hours later for you, two seconds for me. <laughs> um, now we're gonna talk about the Lego. So I've been contacted by a friend, we'll call him a friend now, a friend of mine, um, who I first met on the marketplace, Facebook marketplace, he's in the area, and I bought uh, the UFO sets off of him that I did at the beginning of this year, or earlier, March, April, whenever I did them. Uh, so, and, and he, we've been texting back and forth a lot. Because he, he said, I'll keep you posted if I'm uploading any more, you know, uh, spacey Lego goodies, goodness onto the marketplaces. And, and I thank him for it. Uh, most of his stuff is UFO and, and uh, insectoids and RoboForce, which is, I mentioned, there's not a bad theme in classic space Rubble Force. there's not a <laughs> it's not bad. there's not a bad theme in lego space uh but the the later stuff i i i am less passionate about now i do have a lot of ufo as we saw it but i set them all up uh and he came up to me last week and he, or he texted me last week and he said i have another one the big one and um uh i forget what it's called uh six nine seven nine i think is it I think it is. Uh, anyway, um, and he wants to sell it, and you asked me if I wanted it, and I said absolutely. <laughs> That's a great set. Um, and um, so it was like, but then so we're texting back and forth, and we're talking. And he says, "Oh, by the way, um, I'm looking for these pieces," uh, and because I, I told him like I have a whole huge basement full of classic and goodness here, and he goes. Uh, um, so he needs two of these pieces. So I pulled them. Two of these pieces. And I'm going, okay, I got two of those pieces. And then he's, he wanted two of these pieces. And I'm going, oh, he's making the Arachnid Starbase. <laughs> I think it's called the Arachnid Starbase. The, the big uh, um, insectoid ship. Um, it could be for another set, but I think it's insectoids. And then he wanted one of these, which I got. And then, and then for, for whatever, and this won't be any loss to me, the one by two Robo Force print. Uh, and I showed you before my tiles for black. I got lots of Robo Force one by two tiles, and I have only one Robo Force set reconstituted. And that's all I really wanted to do for now. <laughs> so it's not like it's not like I'm gonna be missing a Robo Force one by two. So I'm gonna take those to him sometime this week. Um also, before I get to this one, we were at Lego dinner last weekend. No, the last week we were camping. The weekend before last weekend, uh, when Brick World was on, we didn't get to Brick World, unfortunately, and wanted to go there. Uh, and it was what I, I find myself more and more every time I go to a Lego store. And again, I, I want to be, again prove this very, very clearly. Lego's knocking it out of the park right now. They really are. They're really knocking it out of the park with all their sets and all their themes and all their this every everything is top-notch lovely for every niche of the market i personally just don't care <laughs> for me i love everybody else and, oh they're they're like the next and they're looking forward to the next release of the whatever lego's putting out and i'm so excited for them lego the last thing that i got really got excited about with the galaxy explorer the re-release of the galaxy explorer and that was just utterly fantastic and i got Two of them up there, and I got the 918 and the 924 made. It was just fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Now, the new theme, like these guys, I, I, I love them, and I, I just, I just, for myself, I can't warrant, again, I talked about this before, the time, the space, and the money. <laughs> so I cannot justify buying all those sets and i think there's whatever six or seven of them in the series of this these guys i, I bought this one also the technic rover uh this one uh the space i mean the, the technic space set <laughs> but i mean i get the shuttles right oh you can't see them right up there but um i love i love i love this theme i love this theme i just can't myself right now be bothered to buy them now i'm gonna regret it absolutely just like Guardians, uh, Galaxy Squad, and the what other ones, uh, Space Police Three. 
Do I regret not buying a lot of them? I, I wish I did, but it's not a huge regret. I'm not losing sleep over it. Because uh, I got... My era is 1978. <laughs> so I bought this one because it was an inexpensive one. And the ship looks cool. And I put it in the layout sometimes. Um, so... But all my friends are buying all the sets. And I want them to. I, wa I want them to... Oh, here's stuff flying up. CMF fantastic by the way this is one of my favorites it's little cmfs ever it's right there um lego's making some really really good sets like the whole space line is beautiful i, I looked at all the sets and i love them all but i'm not gonna buy them unless i really you know and someone gives me one for birthday right but it's not it's not it's not a draw for me personally um, I'm glad they're doing it because it keeps them going. Uh, and so, uh, but I will say I'm going to have more fun building than I have had building the other thing because this is not my youth. I mean, this came out as older than 20 when <laughs> Ice Planet came out. But the other set that I bought when we were at the store, just uh, because I bought that one, the, the, the ship a while back, was the... Alien pack. It was cheap. <laughs> so I bought it. I basically bought it for the minifig as well as some of these guys because I thought they were cute. And so uh, the guy, cute. Uh, my disappointing thing is the tires. Like really, the train tires, like I'm going to substitute my gray one, two by two plates with wheels on them because that's just, that's just, that's cheapo Lego. As honest as I got, it was cheapo. <laughs> The rest of it is cute. The, the, the whole rover is really cute, except for the tires. Uh, that's a really cute build. I really enjoyed that. Uh, but the but the guys, the the, uh, the, the aliens, uh, cute, uh, very cute, um, cute little puppy-ish thing. Um, I like this one, I think, the best. It's got a little tail on him. <laughs> and, and then this guy, uh, I didn't like him as nearly as much. Uh, and then this guy, I thought just like the, uh, the doggy, this was really cute. And then you have this little thing here. Um, I really enjoyed building those. I did. I, I, I enjoyed it. It was the cheapest set they had there that I could buy that I really wanted. They had smaller sets, but I wasn't interested. Uh, I was happy to buy all these little guys and some of them are going to end up in a layout. That's why I bought it. <laughs> so, and, and my friends say, oh, you have to substitute the black with the white. I, I got a bunch of white jet packs in my uh, my overflow bin. Uh, so I will do that at some point. And I will substitute tires with actual real tires. But, uh, oh my goodness. Oh, so I'm tired. What time is it? <laughs> I have no idea what time it is. Um, maybe I'm not going to get into this today. Maybe I'll save this for Friday. Uh, 10.55. Oh my goodness, eight minutes into this and I didn't get into this. Um, I will start this by saying my friend Kai from Germany sent me this. It was very sweet of news. I've mentioned this before. Um, but now it's all washed and ready to go. Um, we are texting today. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So not only was I texting my buddy down the street who's selling Lego on Marketplace and he's keeping me posted, which is fantastic. Um, but my friend Kai and I had a really nice chat today. On, on the uh, on the um, messenger, um, we're gonna do a um, we're gonna do a Discord or a whatever Teams at some point and just have a little chat and like you know build. But the, the time difference, I'm not sure how we're gonna work that out. But it'll probably have to be the weekend. But I was gonna build this tonight, but I'm tired, <laughs> so I'm gonna actually. Uh, so anyway, so Kai sent me this. Uh, I sent him uh, some parts and pieces. Uh, weeks ago, months ago, I can't remember when I sent it, and it came back in the mail last week <laughs> saying, the, the, you know, didn't get delivered properly. So I'll send it again. I'm going to add some parts to it. Shh, don't tell Kai. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, he's great. Um, and, um, and I'm going to resend it. And um, hopefully you'll get it before 2025. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, so I got this planned for, well, maybe a five times tomorrow. Tomorrow seems to be busy, but um, I'm going to build that. And then I'm going to put it in a tote in the garage with all the other ice plants that I have. And I was mentioning to him that out of all the separate themes, and I had to think about this because 
Classic space, clearly I have the most of. I got four a whole totes in the garage of just classic space and my shelf over here is just full of classic space goodies. Um, but then I try to think about the next highest number of set count that I have. And it, it, it was, I was thinking it was Space Police 1 uh, because again, I made the, the Mission Commander, uh, whatever, the, the big one the other day. You saw that. And I have four or five of the small little flying ships and I have four or five of the rovers. And I could build the sonar thing, the, the smallest one, the little wheel, the little four wheel thing. I could build a whole bunch of those. Um, I think I only have three or four built, maybe five. I can't remember. Uh, so, but I was thinking, Ice Planet is probably the theme that I have the most sets of, other than Classic Space. Uh, but Space Police One would be a close second, I would imagine. Um, there are certain themes. Um, that I only have one of each set overall, uh, Blacktron 2, <laughs> although the Aerial Intruder, I think it's called the Aerial Intruder, uh, the 6982, uh, I think I have three copies of that now, uh, it's such a cute little set, um, but other than that, I, I never bothered, oh yeah, and the Suborbital Guardian, the, the wheel thing, because I just reconstituted the fourth one <laughs> the other day, but, um, the rest of it, I don't have a lot of. I, the, uh, the the, the tri-wheel, whatever thing. I don't have a lot of. Uh, UFO, I do have, because you saw the time lapse, I do have a whole bunch of uh, specific sets, and then I'm going to get another one. <laughs> the big one. <laughs> I'm going to have two of those now. Um, and and Explorians, besides the capital ship, <laughs> the, the, the Explorians mothership, everything, there's only one of each, really. <laughs> So that's just what and Rover Force I haven't I only got one built out of the entire theme. Uh Space Police Two. Uh I got Rebel Hunters, I think it's what it's called. Uh the collapsible one. So I bought that one of those off the shelf, but I think I have two more now. Uh but the rest of them are just one offs. Everyone's a one. Um uh Insectoids, I have two arachnid bases because I bought them off shop at home. Uh, when they're in deep discount. And I got a third, which I did not put together. I got that in a used lot. So I only have two built that I know of. Uh, I could possibly build a third now. But um, I used a lot, of, a lot of the dark gray in my MMMT uh, theme. My own theme. Um, and um, I don't think I could build a third at Rackman, Starbase, whatever. Um, which is fine. <laughs> Two's <laughs> fine. Uh, but the rest of the sets only have one of each. Um, Futuron, besides the monorail. <laughs> and I think I think you, you if you watch my videos, I, I reconstituted a few more Futuron uh, in the last couple of years. But I don't keep track. And um, But I, I know I have one of each built. Uh, but I don't think I have that much more than one of each built. Except, for, and again, I don't even, I only have one 6990 built in storage. Um, I know I have multiple copies of that set, uh, but I only have one built. Um, so I, I think Ice Planet, because I got at least five sat fives, at least five sat fives. I have now at least three deep, uh, deep uh, freeze defenders. I'm going to have two bases in a second and, uh, all the other sets in, in, in Ice Planet. Cause it's such a cool theme. It is so freaking awesome. It looks cool. The color scheme is fantastic. It is, and, and under, under black light, I will say straight up, under black light, the trans neon green is the best from my, as a colorblind person. <laughs> uh, the deep, the, the, the trans neon green is the best. So we're talking about Black Tron 2. We're talking about Explorians a little bit. I uh, don't have a lot, but uh, uh, Space Police 2, uh, but mostly Black Tron 2, and not Space Police 2. Oh, space. What am I thinking? Blacktron 2, Mtron, sorry. Blacktron 2, Mtron, and a little bit of Explorians with the with the black light. You know what I should do over here? Because I'm not going to build that. Um, I'm going to get this thing going. Uh, because I never tried this before. I have never tried this before. Let me just shake the camera a little bit. Uh, I'm going to unplug that guy. Just give me a minute. Just, just hit my head now. Uh, before I go to bed, I'm going to make this video a little longer. I'm going to 
Slung and dance, Rasmus has Razzle Dazzle. You guys go over there for a sec. I'm gonna pull down this guy. Yay! Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. And then I'm gonna pull down this guy. Yay! Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> you guys already see where I'm going with this? I've never done this before. I have to take the antenna off because it won't fit on my shelf with the antenna on the top. So this is on. That is off. That is off. This is. So give me a sec. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Not. I think Blacktron 2 would be better because Blacktron 2 has a lot more trans neon green. But still, the um, the Megacore magnetizer. That, that this that that it, it just glows. It just absolutely glows. I mean, it's not. Oh, here we go. It's not this kind of glow. <laughs> this this kind of glow is just this thing lights up a room. You can read by that. It's like look at that. Look at that. Trans neon green. Uh, I like doing this every once in a while. I get I get happy. <laughs> so. Uh, which means that aqua sharks, because you know aqua sharks had trans neon green or whatever you call it, uh, again, aqua zone aqua sharks, whatever. Um, but uh, thank you, Lee. What you doing? Um, I never, I never tried that before with Mtron. Mtron didn't go hog wild with the trans neon green that Black Blacktron two did. <laughs> it really didn't, but it did it enough. So. Um, I, I, oh, so here's another thing. So I had a very good and dear friend of my YouTube channel uh, send me an email that he's going to bring some spare parts to Bricks in the Six because I mentioned that the 8x8 red grill plates, I didn't have them for this guy, so they're black. He says, oh, I have two. We'll swap. We'll trade parts, which is exactly what I want. <laughs> this is what I want to do. Uh, rather than, I mean, I don't mind money. <laughs> For parts of you know, people want to pay me and i've said i've shipped parts to people for money uh but if you have parts that you know i want and i have parts that i know you want there you go <laughs> that works for me uh so i i can wait till bricks in the six and to get two uh eight by eight grill plates um for this guy now i still need three because i found out by looking at the other one i looked at the bottom of this one this is the original one and I, I don't know where i used them but i looked on here and this one you can see right there it's two one by eights and this is one by 16. uh i don't know where i used because this is my original i did buy them in a the store um i i know that i have one by 16 red bricks there's one in here <laughs> This one is both one by eights. So I have four one by eights instead of two one by sixteens. <clears throat> so I need at least three one by sixteen red bricks. Now, what I think happened, and this is why I have to go through these three totes down here and sort everything into my collection. I think they're in there. At least one is in there. And I think it's a build that I needed one by sixteen brick to fill in whatever it's gonna fill in. So um so I was going to order on Bricklink the 1x16s and the um, the grill plates and whatever. And it was going to cost me $20 for all the parts I wanted. And then another $20 for shipping. <clears throat> so I'm paying $40 for shipping to complete this set so it looks like that set. And, and then this guy pipes up, a friend of mine, uh, on this channel. And he says, Dave, I have them. <laughs> and I said... You tell me what you want. <laughs> you got it. So this is this is <clears throat> this is making me happy <clears throat> because my whole point right now. I I had a nice chat with somebody at work today, and uh, we were talking about uh, how we are the way we are, and and I my parents were very very uh, socially and civically oriented to take care of others and help out others where you can. <coughs> where is this coming from? Um, <coughs> I wasn't coughing at all before. 
I think that's because I'm talking too much again. Uh, <laughs> that's, I should stop talking. Um, so that's my parents. And, and they brought me up in a world where, you know, if your neighbor wants something and you have it and you don't need it. And then if I need something and my neighbor has it, uh, an exchange of goods. Um, <clears throat> I'm becoming more and more appreciative of my upbringing and my parents and the way they brought me up. Uh, where it just it's just... It's nice to just kind of exchange stuff like that instead of, oh, I want my, you know, $20 to give you parts. If you have parts I want and you know I'm going to need a few parts to reconstitute some of these sets. And I know I have lots of parts and you've seen my room. <laughs> so it's like, you know, I'm not I'm not deficient of parts. <laughs> so it's like and, and especially older parts that people can't get anymore. Uh, I was involved in a thread the other day where they were talking about the trans one by one round bricks. And <clears throat> they're talking about how the original space sets from 1978 potentially had one by one round bricks with solid stud, trans red and trans green. And I really have a tough time believing that. Now, my go-kart from 1977, the 854948 go-kart, had two one by one trans red round bricks for the spark plugs or whatever they were, uh, and those were solid stud. I remember that when I was a kid. I remember all the all the studs were solid. And he, okay, so so here's here's me with my bin of don't fall, don't fall. And I'm gonna plug this back in so it's brighter again. Let's make this video go on longer. So uh, I have stacks of solid stud one by one brown bricks. I got so many of them in here. I kept on finding them. And lots of black, lots of white, lots of blue, lots of red. There's a red right there. This is up until 1977. Now you can go even farther back where it didn't have the groove at the bottom. <laughs> so uh, a one by one round uh, brick with no groove on the bottom. And I'm not sure when the groove started showing up, but my childhood, uh, they always had the groove. The, the, right before my childhood, it was a non -groove. My cousin George, his sets from when he was a kid in the 60s had no groove. And I have a bunch of those now. It's fantastic. <clears throat> but this is my youth. Until 1977, that was the last time I saw that. Solid stud, <clears throat> one by one round bricks. Now, <clears throat> I said an error on that thread that no trans one by one round bricks were ever released with solid stud. And I'm 100% wrong in that. And I realized that the second I hit send, <laughs> because I think they're in here. <sighs> trans clear. The 375, I think it is. The Lunar Lander has four of these at least. Might even be, might even be more. So trans clear, solid stud. But that's the only trans color I have in, and here's me being me, uh, trans clear solid stud with no groove in the bottom. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I, I personally, because I got Galaxy Explorers. No, I did not buy one new in the shelf in 1970s. That would have been 1979 because that's when the Galaxy Explorer came out. The Galaxy Explorer was not released the first year in 1978. Again, to talk about this, as far as I was told, and why everything I've uh, assessed so far bears this out, the Lego company had the entire theme, 885 to 9, 9 uh, I mean, 885 to 9, oh, for crying out loud, 928, 885 to 928, planned. The sets were being produced. All of them, 885, the Rover, 986, I mean, 885, and then the, 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 the 926, the command base, 924, 918, the Alpha 1, the rocket place, the, the command center. Uh, they were all one set, one, I mean, one theme already. They had, they were ready to go. And they were due to be released in May of 1979. They were due to be released in 1979. From what I was told by many people, Star Wars hit the market. <laughs> so 
Star Wars came on the 77 and it was the stupidest, biggest thing in the entire universe. Um, and Lego in 1978 says, we have to get these sets onto some of these sets, the ones that we can get to the stores in 1978, Christmas of 1978. They were released November 1978. Now, the specific sets that were released, I could not tell you the specific sets. The 918 was one of them in Canada, the 918, got it Christmas 1978, because I was in the old house when I got it. We moved in 1979, August. There is no way I got that set at the new house. I already had it at the old house. Anyway, that's my point that I got in 1978. And, 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 and they say, classic space, in space since 1978. I got the hat right there. Let me see it. Let me show you. Uh, in space since 1978 <laughs> they had the sets in 78 but not all of them they were not all ready to go they were all playing at the same time but they were all so the galaxy explorer was not one of the christmas sets in 1978 it wasn't one of them the 94 the 918 were the command center was as well the command center in 1978 had a flat base plate and you built the craters again what i was told I can't remember the other ones that were the 886, probably one of them, whatever. The Alpha Run, I don't know if the Alpha One was released that first year. And the people say, oh, it was, it wasn't, it was, I, I don't know, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> 1979, they're all released. And 1979 is when they changed the base plate to a crater plate in the command center. I think the Galaxy Explorer was not released in 1978 because they didn't have the crater plate yet. The Galaxy Commander, was, uh, Galaxy Explorer, was never released with a flat base plate where you build your own crater. So it was never released that way. The Command Center 926 was released that way in 1978. 1979, they already had the crater plate for the Galaxy Explorer, and they put one in the Command Center. And again, from what I was told, because I didn't buy one of these off the shelf. I only got the 918. Uh, but the Command Center in 1979 had the crater plate as well as the bricks to build the craters, <laughs> but it did not have the flat base plate. So take it as it is, uh, find out more information about it. But this is what I, I, I gleaned over the last 40 years of talking to the people about it and looking into it. Uh, so this was going somewhere. Oh yeah, so the Galaxy Explorer has the 16 red one by one round trans red bricks. They were all open stud. Every last one of them, open stud, not solid stud. I would have them here. I have bought so many used lots of Galaxy Explorers. I bought 14 of them. <laughs> 14 of them. My cousins got that for Christmas, 1979. They did not have solid stud. The little, I think it's the 885, the little wing thing with the blue one by one round bricks on the back some people say those were solid stud i would have had them i would have had them because i got that in used lots now again i can't guarantee that i got them in used lots that the lot that set was bought in 1978 versus 1979 1980 or 1981 because again those sets were in the sh store shelves for four or five or six years before they stopped selling them, you could have walked into a Kmart or a Zellers in 1981 and bought a Galaxy Explorer. They were still on the shelves. They were still producing them. They're not like they did Lego now where every six months you have to have all new sets and like, you know, the whole turnover. Back then, I remember I walked into a um, the Leisure Ed, the Leisure Store in Eastgate, like in 1984, and they still had the all-train vehicle on there. 1985, there was still an all-train vehicle there. <laughs> Six, eight, eight, whatever they do it. Uh, wonderful set. Um, the, 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 the sets lasted. They, they kept on producing sets for years back then. Every year they came up with new sets, except, so 1978, 1979 was the same set, except 1978, they released half of them, and then 1979 released all of them. Uh, 1980... I don't think there was any new sets released. It wasn't until 1981 where the Starfleet Voyager showed up, uh, and a few, and a, I think the All Train Vehicle, maybe 1981. I can't remember now. And, and the 1982 is when they released the Yellow Minifig in a set. You could have bought that as a Minifig pack in 1978, but in a set, and that's when you got the 6880, the 6980, uh, the 6890. 
all, all those wonderful sets that I love and dear. But um, again, I don't keep track specifically overall of dates and whatever. I'm not that geekiness that I, every set I know when it was released. But I know uh, from what I was told about the, the half and half of the original three digit sets and why they were released the way they were. They wanted to get them on the shelves for Christmas 1978. They released the sets they could in Christmas 1978 and the Galaxy 4 was not one of them. So uh, they could have had solid studs in 1978 but I don't have one at all in this entire collection of mine that I was collecting f back then. Uh, I do not have a trans blue one by one round brick with solid stud. I don't. Uh, I don't believe it ever existed. <laughs> I could be wrong. Somebody could look. I have it right here. Uh, wow. <laughs> like, I've, I've, I, I, uh, and I've, I've been parts of many threads and whatever. Uh, so that was a, that was a topic that people were talking about the other day. And I piped in. I, I did completely forget about the Transclear. Uh, I guess Transclear obviously predates 1978, predates uh, Lego Space. Although people sometimes incorporate the uh, 375 or 355 or 353. I can't remember. The Lunar Lander and the Launch Command. Uh, they, they classify that as classic space. I will stay on the fence. I have them both. Uh, I, 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 I don't, uh, I'm not, I, I don't mind one way or the other. I, I built them. I love them. Um, I have them in the Ziploc somewhere. Um, I will say that I had the Lunar Lander in one of our monorail layouts at one point and it didn't look out of place because it was blue. <laughs> so, anywho, I've talked enough again. Uh, 31 minutes. Um, I, I will say that I am, I am perfectly content, uh, with the parts I have. And I'm also perfectly content, uh, if you want some of these parts that you know I have and you want to exchange, I'm perfectly okay with that. Depends on what you're offering. Um, I've made a ton of videos talking about the pieces I do not have. And if you have them and you want to exchange for some of the pieces I have, that's quite acceptable. Or again, I keep on talking about, you know, I, I look at Bricklink and I just say uh, ballpark, uh, well under the average price. Uh, because I, I'm, to me, this is like a garage sale. What a garage sale is supposed to be is to get rid of stuff, not to make a profit, not to make money so I can retire. Uh, that'll come later <laughs> when I start selling classic space sets. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's all. Um, Black Light looks cool. Mtron looks much better than Black Tron 2. Um, and um, yeah, I think um, there's a few tangents in there. And uh, overall, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm rambling. So I'm going to go to bed now. And this over here will be tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, you guys all stay safe, take care, and I will talk to you soon.